hello my dear this is visual kumar saying again in this uh, total i'm going to share with you okay let me just uh, help you to focus this camera okay so in this total i'm going to share with you how to convert any equation into a standard form that's why it would be much better i mean how to convert the any equation to the uh, into the standard form that's why uh, you can solve the lpp problem quite easily all right so suppose that we have we are giving uh, we have given uh, we have given a question uh, so chat okay chat is equal to 3x1 plus 2x2 and then x1 4x2 6 and 3x1 plus 2x2 less than equal to 18 x1 x2 greater than equal to 0 suppose that we are giving a question like this right so what we should do what we should do to convert this equation into a standard form that is matter right so here is the step it's really simple actually i was thinking about why not to share with a simple tutorial on this topic so here what we got x1 we having what we have in this equation first we need to look at that so what we have in this equation x1 less than equal to 4 that means if i will add something this side with x1 then we can make it equivalent so we are going to add so there are two things if we wanted to do subtract then we can use surplus if we wanted to add then we use slack so all these variables slack variables and surplus variables okay so what i mean to say slack variable and surplus variable slack variable and surplus variable Dekho. Uh, now x1 plus s1 is equal to 4 now here x2 plus s2 like the same is equal to 6 because we need to add something here to make it equivalent now here what we got 3x1 plus 2x2 plus x okay s3 is equal to 18 we are using which because slag is for positive and this is for negative remember that now we can write maximize z is equal to 3x1 plus 2x2 plus 0s1 plus 0s2 plus 0s3 well this is the equation we need to convert the given equation in the quotient to like this before solving you know uh, lpp problem so most of the time where we make mistake here we may do mistake while doing plus and minus so we need to understand this concept proper way to solve any LPP problem at least in by using simplex method uh, properly or I must say right away so at the last step we can say x1 x2 s1 s2 and s3 all of these are greater than equal to 0 right so thanks for watching and see you soon in my next video bye bye